Right, so the figure over here shows a line AB and a point C here. So you need to draw a line parallel to line AB through point C. Okay, what does it mean? That means we need another parallel line of this, okay, through point C here. So meaning to say that we need to find, we need to draw another parallel line over here through this point C. Okay, so are you just going to use freehand and draw your parallel lines? No, okay, don't ever do that, okay? So what you need to do is that you need to use your ruler, okay? So you need to take out your, you need to use two rulers in order to draw a, not say perfect, but, but um, an accurate, okay, parallel lines. So what you do is that first you take one ruler here, put a line, put your ruler on one of the lines here, on this line here. Okay, make sure it's straight, huh? Then where do you put the other ruler? I think I mentioned this before, right? So I'm just, it's just recap, okay? But this time it's a little bit different because you're going to draw, right? So you see? You see that? You see it must be parallel. Make sure it's parallel. When you shift, make sure it's parallel, okay? And then when you try to shift up, don't shift this ruler here, okay? When you shift the ruler, it may not be parallel anymore, okay? So this one, you may have to make sure it's parallel, huh? Alright, so then you shift up. Ah, this is the point, right? You see I shifted a little bit. Okay, so this is the point here, okay, and you're going to draw the line here, understand? Okay, so I'm going to show, I'm going to draw it on the monitor over here, okay, so like I did just now. You may not be able to see on the screen there, but I'm just going to show you how it's being done. So when you draw, place your two rulers here. Okay, I'm trying my best because I'm, uh, I'm a left-hander, so it's a little bit tricky. Okay, so I'm trying my best to draw it straight. Okay, I'm trying not to shift the ruler. Okay, move the ruler here. Okay, once I move the ruler, that's it. It will be, you know, you will no longer be parallel. All right, let me try my best to do it. Okay, so this is the line here. Okay, so I'm going to draw point C, right? Okay, I'm going to draw point C here, through point C here. Okay, so this is what they are looking for, two parallel lines, okay, through point C. Okay, so this is important, okay, it's not that difficult, it's just that you need to use two rulers and you need to just be a little bit careful when you draw the lines there, okay, make sure you don't shift here and there, okay. Okay, I think it will be easier if you were to do it on the paper itself, okay. Alright, so that's it, you get a point for drawing the line, a parallel line, okay. All right, so now we're going to move on to the next question. Okay, what do we have here? So same thing, just now was parallel line, right? We had to draw a parallel line. Now we're going to draw a line perpendicular, okay, to AB. Okay, this is AB here passing through point B. This is point B, right? So you need to pass through the point B here. So how do you draw a perpendicular line? Which is that you can use your ruler. This one, you just need one ruler will do, okay? So you follow this line here. And then you know where's the, where's the perpendicular? It's 90 degree, right? Perpendicular is 90 degrees, so you draw one here. Okay? Once after you're done, then you can extend. Okay, you can extend it. Then you can, that means you have a line perpendicular to AB and passing through point B. Okay? I'm going to draw it on the monitor here. Okay, so, which I don't think you can see from there, but you can see the line, huh? So I'm trying my best. This is, this is 90 degree, correct? This is 90 degree, right? So I'm going to extend the line here. Sorry, uh, let me erase this part here. So I'm going to extend the line here. Okay, passing through point B. Okay, passing through point B. Let me draw again. Uh, okay, let me try one more time. Yep, you need to be a bit patient when you're drawing this. Okay, that's it. Okay, so there we have it. We have a line perpendicular to AB and passing this through this point B. So that's it. You get a point for drawing. Alright, okay?